No, I don't waste no time How you doing guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer and online coach. I have my own advertising agency called Brambrenner and I also have my own education business where I teach you guys on basically how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get clients, how to do the outreach, how to get the results for the clients so that you too can live life on your own terms. And in today's video, I wanna discuss a topic that I don't really see a lot of people talking about, and that is understanding the metrics in order to calculate the return on investment for your clients. So I understand it's not the fanciest of topics, but I do think it's very, very important, especially when you're getting results for your clients, you know, to know exactly how much money you're actually making them. So whether you're uh, focused on e-commerce or lead generation, you know, there is an investment that the client makes in you, which is the retainer, and then there's also an investment in terms of the ad spend. So they invest into ads. So side note, it's common now, you know, almost everyone knows that, but if you're just starting out with social media marketing, know that you do not pay for the ads, okay? So the client pays you uh, for your service in the form of a retainer. It's common that that retainer takes place, you know, prior to the service. So you get paid upfront for, you know, the, 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 the 30 days that follow basically. And then the client attaches his or her credit card to the ads manager, to their ads manager, so their business manager, their ads manager, etc., has got their credit card or payment method attached to it so that you do not uh, spend, you know, you don't have to pay for the ads. The client pays for the ads with his card. So the questions like, um, do we, you know, put the money up front for the ad spend and then build them after that, also with that is not the case, okay? So you receive the retainer on the front end, you run the ads with their credit card and their ad spend, and then the aim is to get them a return on total investment. So you know, uh, if you're, let's say, because we've got the whiteboard up here, let's say your uh, retainer is a thousand pounds and they've got a thousand ad spend, so it's called this spend, and we want to get them a 2x ROI, that means that they've invested 2000, so 2k, and if we want to get them a 2x ROI, that means that we need to get them 4K, right? So with the 1K in ad spend, we need to get them 4K back, which is a return on ad spend, so a ROAS of four, okay? And that is just very, very important to understand uh, going forward because, again, another very common question is, okay, well, if my retainer is 2,000, um, as a weird pound sign, there we go. If my retainer is 2,000, what should the ad spend be? And in my opinion, the ad spend should always be more than your retainer. Because if your ad spend is 500, so that means that is a 2,500 investment for the client. Okay, and we wanna get them a 2X ROI. So 2X, that means we wanna get them 5,000 back but you've only got 500 in ad spend, because this is the ad spend, this is the retainer, that means that you need to get them a 10x return on ad spend, which is, you know, very, very difficult to, well, not very, very difficult, but it's, you know, it's definitely up there, you know, it's not something that um, when you're starting out is easy to achieve. Okay, so this is how you need to look at it, but there's also another factor that we need to take into consideration, and that is the cost of, uh, you know, the goods delivered, the, the cost of goods sold. So there is also a profit margin with regards to uh, the products. So for e-commerce, let's say the client has a 50% profit margin, then you also need to take that into consideration when you're running the ads. Because if you spend a thousand for them and you get them 4,000 back, that 4,000 is not profit. You know, it's, um, of course, you've got your retainer, your ad spend, but you've also got the percentage of costs for the product. So let's say, uh, let's say we've got a dropship client and they purchase the products for 10 pounds or $10 and they sell it for 20 pounds. 
or $20, whatever, then that is a 50% profit margin, which means that if we get them a return ad spend of like 1.5, that means it's not profitable because they've also got that 50% cost margin, if you will. Okay, so how do we calculate all this and how can we make sure that the client is getting an actual return on investment? Because it's not only our retainer, it's not only our ad spend, it's also the percentage of the page conversion value that is, you know, their costs. So the way we can do this is we can basically reverse engineer, let me just wipe all this out, reverse engineer what we've got and see, okay, is this actually profitable? And for this, we do need to know what their profit margin percentage is. So it's very, very important that you ask the client, what is your profit margin, okay? It's not a weird question. I understand that maybe when you start out, you think to yourself, okay, is that something that the client wants to give us? But we need to know our numbers. We need to know the data in order to figure out, okay, is this actually gonna be worth our time, but is it also going to be profitable for the client, okay? So rule of thumb for me, if a client has a profit margin that is less than 30%, I do not take it on, okay? Why is that? Because if, let's say the client's got a 20% profit margin, yeah, that means eight, so of the let of the product, which is 100%, so that is the, the price of the product, 20% is their markup, and then 80% is the cost to get that product um, you know, delivered and manufactured, etc. So let's say they are selling a product for um, $20, 20% of that, which is uh, $4, is their profit margin. And then 16, which is 18%, uh, 80%, sorry, 16, 80% is, you know, the cost for them to get that shipped and to get the product made, etc. Okay, so that is just something that you need to take into consideration. But if the profit margin is 20%, that means that you need a return on ad spend of five okay so the, an easy way to calculate that is one divided by the profit margin percentage times 100 so for example let's say the profit margin is 10 percent that means one divided by 10 times 100 is a ROAS of 10 which is obviously you know quite a, a steep ROAS to achieve if the profit margin is 30 percent so that's one divided by 30 times 100. I don't know why I just added the extra uh, thing there. Let me just try again. So one divided by 30 times 100 is a return ad spend of 3.3, which is much more achievable, okay? So anything below 30, in my opinion, is um, just, you're, you're making it too difficult for yourselves because like I said, you've not only got this profit margin percentage, you've also got the ad spend, you've also got the retainer. So, you know, you need to be either spending a lot on the front end to you know, get that return on ad spend or get that return on investment. And like I said, you need an extremely high return on ad spend to make it profitable for the client. Okay, so how can we calculate all of this all put together? Let me just, so obviously for those that are in the coaching program, you guys will have the templates, etc. where it's just literally just, you fill in the numbers and uh, the sheets will work out everything for you. Um, for those that aren't in the coaching program, a simple way of doing it is basically by getting the ad spend times and that by the return ad spend, which I'll do now. So let's say we've got a, let's say we've got 10,000 in ad spend, yeah? So big number, we've got a lot of money to spend, um, 10,000 euros, and we managed to get our clients a, what should we do? A 10, let's say five. So we've got a five X ROAS, okay? So 5X return on ad spend, which means that our purchase conversion value, so our purchase conversion value is 50,000 because we put five, uh, we put 10,000 in. We've got a 5X ROAS, which means we've got a 50,000 purchase conversion value, okay? So that is our sort of revenue within the ad manager. Okay, now let's say our profit margin percentage for the client is 25%, okay? So 25%, let me just add it down here. So 25% profit margin, which means 75% is the cost. So 0 0.25 times 50, one, two, three, 50,000 is, I can never figure out which one it is, commas or uh, dots, there we go. So comma, 12,500. 12,500, so that is their sort of profit 
of the page conversion value, okay? Then we need to take off our retainer and the ad spend, of course. So our um, ad spend is 10,000. So we minus the 10,000 is 2,500. Okay. Now let's say our retainer was 2,000. That only leaves the client with a 500% uh, pro a 500 dollar profit or euro profit in this case. Even though they we've gotten them a 5x ROAS, 50,000 in page conversion value, they've only got a five. Uh, 500 dollar profit margin at the end of the day after all of this okay so that is also something that you need to take into consideration when you're working out the ad spend and the retainer okay so if our let's say our retainer is um i don't know our retainer is 500 500 euros then we minus the 500 which leaves them with a two thousand dollar profit so two thousand dollar oh euros in this case profit okay now let's say Let's just do it again. Um, so we need to move this up, pan, there we go. Let's say the, uh, again, we've got our 10,000 euro ad spend. We get them a 10X row, let's just make it easy for ourselves this time. 10X row, which means we get them six figures, we get them 100K in page conversion value, yeah? Now, let's say the profit margin is 10 percent okay so we've got uh, a higher ROAS but a lower uh, profit margin so even though we've made from the 10k we've made them 100k their profit or oh, their um yeah their so profit margin percentage is is lower so that means we've only made them 10,000 sort of profit on the ads minus the 10,000 that they put into ads and then, of course, we've got our retainer. Let's say our retainer was a thousand, is actually a loss of a thousand dollars. So see how easy it can be to get them very high revenue numbers, but actually get them a loss, or you know, basically get them to lose money on the back end, just because you didn't work out the actual return investment for the client, and also take into consideration the uh, profit margin percentage. As you can see, it can really, really uh, quickly become extremely difficult for you to get a good return on investments if you don't know your numbers properly. Now, let's say this wasn't 10%, um, this was actually a 50%, which means that of the 100K, 50K was uh, profit minus the 10K ad spend is 40, um, 40K. Let me just quickly do it like that. And you've got um, actually, for, yeah, that's 40K minus your retainer of 1k actually leaves them with 39k profit i know that was a bit messy but just to you know make it understandable for you guys exactly same numbers exactly same result but because they've got a higher profit margin um, it's much more profitable for them so moral of the story is make sure that you know what their profit margin percentage is before you take on these clients if it's less than 30 percent Work it out for yourself, you'll realize that it might not even be worth your time, unless they've got a lot of data, of course, and you can see that it's easily achievable. Um, because a 10x ROAS, although it sounds a lot, for some businesses, that is quite a common return on ad spend. But like I said, if that profit margin is extremely low, then you'll need to consistently get that 10x ROAS in order for this to make some kind of sense, okay? But my rule of thumb is anything below 30% profit margin, we do not take on. And then, of course, you've got exceptions like subscription-based products, etc., where they might make a small loss on the back end, but if you know the lifetime value of uh, the return of customer is like four or five months, then yes, it will be profitable uh, in the long run, etc. But just in the simplest form, less than 30% profit margin for me is a no-no. Okay, so those are the numbers in terms of e-commerce. What I'll just quickly do before we wrap up this video is just quickly go over this in terms of um, lead generation as well, like how you can sort of work that out. So again, let's say we start off with, um, we'll start off with the ad spend again. So let's say we've got 10,000 in ad spend. The most important thing for the for lead generation is not necessarily the profit margin percentage, but is their conversion rate. Okay, so how many leads does it take for them to get one sale? Okay, that's what we need to understand. So let's say we've got 10,000 in ad spend. 
our cost per lead is uh, 10, just to make it easy. So our cost per lead is 10, uh, which means that we get them a thousand leads. And again, like I said, for those in the coaching program, you guys have all the, the templates and all the scripts, etc., and the, the sheets that automatically calculates all of this. So don't worry about that. It's added to, um, to Teachable, to Lifestyle Design. So you guys will all have that. But uh, 10,000 cost per lead is, so CPL, and this is the spend. So 10,000 spend, CPL 10, which brings us 1,000 leads. Now, let's say our, the conversion rate percentage of our client is 10%, okay? So 10% of every single lead that comes through um, becomes a paying customer. So 10% of 1,000 is 100 customers. So as you can see, of our 10,000 spend, we've gotten 100 customers. Now, let's say our um, price point for our client is 2,000, okay? So 2K price points times 100, because I've got them 100 customers is, let me just make sure I do this right, 2,000 times 100 is 200K. So 200,000, yeah, minus the 10,000 in ad spend is 190, minus our retainer, let's say our retainer is 1,000 as well, so minus 1,000 is, so again, 200 minus 10 minus 1 is 189. So $189,000 we've made in this particular example for this client. Now let's say the conversion rate is not 10%, it's 1%. Now let's see what happens then. So 1% of 1,000 leads is 10, 10 leads, uh, 10 paying customers, sorry times a 2000 um, product is 20K rather than, um, you know, rather than 200K, so we just knock off the zero there. Minus the 10K in ad spend is 19, minus the 1K in retainer is 18K in, um, in, in, in profits basically for this client. So as you can see, the conversion rate for lead generation is extremely important. I need to find the right balance between price points, cost per lead, uh, amount spent and of course uh, the conversion rate to make sure that this is profitable for the clients okay so hope you guys got something out of this hope you now understand better how you can get a return on investment for your customers like this video if you got something out of it comment down below if you have any questions regarding profit margins uh, starting your agency etc or just send me a message on either instagram or facebook subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you all in the next video